What's up, beautiful people? It is your hunger and shameless all up in your building with another tech talk. And this is part two of how to shoot like a beauty guru. If you haven't watched that, you can click that over here. Mm -mm -mm. This is how to edit like a beauty guru. So I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks on transitions, titles, music, uh, volume, anchor points, fade in, fade out, transitions, all that jazz, all that gig stuff. I will be doing this in Final Cut Pro, so if you don't have it, it's okay. You can edit on whatever software you have, but these are more or less principles, so if you understand it from this platform, you can translate it onto another. Join me on this journey. Okay, let's get into Final Cut Pro. Enough talking. Mm. Welcome to my desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and open Final Cut Pro, and I am going to start creating some magic. So all you gotta do is create a project. I've already done that. These are my projects, these are my files here. So I have all my footage here on how I created this look. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is highlight the section that I wanna use. I can either grab the entire clip and dump it onto timeline, or I can just select a part of the clip. And you can tell which part is selected with the yellow. So I'll go ahead and just highlight and drop that down. Now, because this is a tutorial without any sound, this here is a volume. I'm just going to lower that because I don't need the volume. What I will be doing is adding voiceover. If you want to know how to do voiceover, you can watch this video in the upper right corner under the eye or in the info box. But here, this is audio that I recorded from my iPhone. And let's go ahead and hear that. So the first step you're gonna do, ladies, is get your foundation. I'm using cover effects. So that's my audio. I'm gonna take that and drop it here. And I can zoom in by hitting the Z button. What do you guys say, Z? My bad, Z. Then I'm gonna go ahead and toggle to the A. These are shortcuts, and the A goes to arrow. So let's see how that plays out. So the first step you're gonna do, ladies, is get your foundation. I I'm gonna move that over here so the timing is a little bit better. So the first step you're gonna do, ladies, is get your foundation. I'm using cover effects. Ooh, perfect. And a nice fluffy brush and circular motions and working it all over my face. So that plays out perfectly. Now here on the volume, I'm just gonna raise it a little bit. I can afford to do that and it will show me when it gets too loud because it will peak and turn red or yellow. That means it's it's peaking, it's too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down to like five. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add some title cards. So I'm gonna hit the T and it's gonna open a window of all these title cards that are built in. You know, this, this basic one. Um, and you can use any of these, it depends. This is where you can really have fun. Uh, create your brand, your style, what have you. You can also buy presets. And these are essentially plugins that are custom made by a developer. Um, in this case, it's by Pixel Film Studios. Uh, you can check out their website in the info box below. And they sell these plugins that give you more variety than what's built into the computer. So I can go ahead and see what that looks like by dropping that in. So I'm gonna drop that in here and I'm gonna move it so it lines up here. I'm using cover effects. Now, just to turn the volume down, I can highlight the clip and hit V. Hit V for visibility and it's gonna disable the volume. And here, if I want to change it, see it says preset five left, I need to change that. So I'm gonna hit this button over here I'm gonna type in cover FX. And then right here I can put in foundation powder. See? And that is looking mighty cute. I can also customize it and change the color of the bar here. And that's the fun with presets. So that's a little tip for beauty gurus, how to edit. And I can also move this. I can move this by clicking here on the anchor point and moving it like such. I can rotate it. Don't need to do all that. And maybe I can even put it here. 
Let's try and see what that looks like. Bam. So when I go through my timeline, I'm just scrubbing through to see what I can cut out. And I'm toggling between this blade. Let's just see so you can see. See this blade? And I could toggle to A, which is the arrow. So right now I'm gonna hit B for blade and I'm gonna cut out all of this because I don't really need any of this. Now I'm gonna toggle back to A, highlight this section that I don't need and delete it. Now if I just let it play straightforward, it could end up being a very long video. That's a lot. I can delete all of this right over here. But for time's sake, I can fast forward all of this. So I just highlight the clip, open this drop down menu, fast. I could multiply the frame rate 200, 400, 800, and I think 2000%. Let's try 400 times. That's very frantic. So maybe I'll turn that down to 200%. Bam, there we go. Now I can speed it up or I can slow it down. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and click on transitions. So I have two clips here. I have foundation and then I have powder. I can let it go ahead and play straight through or I can add a transition to show that it's different. These are the presets that come with Final Cut. We have a clock transition. I can delete that. We also have, let's go to lights here. Light noise, I can put that here. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. That's kind of pretty. And there's a ton of other transitions. I can even do a slide transition. All I gotta do is hit all. And in here in the finder, I can type in slide. Because I know it exists, I know the name of it, I could just type that in. Bam. So now you know how to do transitions, you know how to do text. Let's go ahead and add some B-roll, shall we? So let me find a scene here. Ooh. Here. Highlight that, drop it on my timeline. I'm gonna take the volume all the way down. There, I'm presenting the tool. The NYX Lip Liner, my favorite, Nutmeg. Now, I can either go ahead and copy this. So let's just copy by hitting Command-C. And to paste it, Command-V. Edit this by going to the Inspector. Hitting Title. And instead of Cover Effects, this is now NYX. That's pretty, I'll just leave it like that, next. And here I can write nutmeg. <laughs> That's very long, this bar. I could actually change the width of the bar. Oh, no, not the width, the length. Bam. Drop it over here. I can go ahead and use a title card or I can use some B-roll footage. So B-roll footage is footage that I've taken in addition to the main footage and I can drop that on top. This is an extra step so it depends on how much time you have or what kind of video you want but that's the lip liner and you can see the name and the number. Now the only thing is this footage is kind of shaky. Like what the heck, Maya? What what the heck? So let me go ahead and take the shake out. Bam. So I can go ahead and hit the stabilization button and it will stabilize the clip. Now you can't do this with super shaky footage, but it does help when there is some subtle shakage. So now let's see what that looks like. Wow, she's so smooth, whoa. And I can even play around with the transitions. I don't like how it just kind of came out there. If 
If that's too slow, I can shorten the clip. I can also change the direction. Here, it's coming all the way from the right hand side. Let's make it come from the left. Highlight it, the direction, let's come from left. So here we are. Okay, so that's B-roll. I can use video footage or I can use photos. Now, I found this photo online when I just did a Google image search and I'm gonna just drop that in. Say I don't wanna have B-roll, I just wanna use photos. So I'm gonna bring my cursor over here. I'm gonna highlight the clip and then I'm going to activate it and rotate it. I can also resize it. And actually that's a good size right there. So I can go ahead and add transitions to this clip. And let's slide it. Bam. Now in this case, I don't like how it comes all the way from the right. That's the default setting. Let's come from the left. Oops, let's highlight it. Left. There we go. Maybe that's too abrupt. Let's make it a little bit longer. Now for whatever reason, Final Cut makes the video go on top of it versus it's sliding back. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and I'm gonna show you how to add keyframes. This is a tutorial unto itself, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna sh quickly show you an introduction. So I have my cursor here and by the time it gets over here, I want it to be out of frame versus just disappearing. So I'm gonna put my cursor here. I'm gonna go over to here on the transform panel. I'm gonna add an anchor point. And that's basically telling Final Cut that there's a point here and the position is gonna stay at this axis. Remember class, the math, X and Y's, you know. And by the time it gets over here, I want it to be out. So I'm gonna hit the anchor point again. This time, I'm gonna hit this and slide it across till it's gone and you can see that the X and Y coordinates have changed. So if I'm over here, it's these anchor points, and by the time it gets over here, you can see it counting down, and it's gone. So let's play that by hitting the space bar, gone. That's how you can do transitions and customize it yourself. You can even make it move all over the place. So we can have B-roll footage, when we're describing a particular product, this could even help if you have a cooking video, you wanna show the ingredients you're using, or you can use an image. It's totally up to you, Bo. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest of this. Okay. Okay, I'm applying eyeshadow. Say I forgot to film or show you which product I used. I'm gonna delete all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and use my B-roll, throw that on top, turn the volume all the way down. Whoa. Now let's move that. I can also add a blade tool, let's just do that. I'm hitting the B blade. I'm gonna take this clip and put it in between. That way I don't cover any of the footage. I wanna stabilize that footage by hitting the stabilization. It's gonna analyze for the dominant motion. This is the counter here that's rendering. Woohoo! we good. There, look how smooth that is. Now say I wanted to demonstrate that I'm using a particular shadow. How do you know which one? I happen to have a plugin that I got from Pixel Film Studios and I got this plugin here that allows me to circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. 
drag it and drop it, shorten it, shablam, pat out, and let's highlight it. The scale, right over here. I can make it big, I can make it small. In this case, I'm gonna make it small. And the position, there we go. I'm just playing around. See, X is latitude. Is it latitude, guys? Latitude, Y is longitude, whatever. <laughs> Put in the comments below. <laughs> okay, so now let's see what that plays out like. Let's actually move this because that's not what it was. It was this one. What's this color right over here? And let's see the title of that. Now let's play it. There we go. I'm gonna delete this. I can add in some music. You can either start with music or end with music. Typically I start with it, but in this case because I'm more interested in the tutorial type. It's not like a music video, it's not a lookbook. I'm gonna go ahead and look for some music that I happen to have here in my library. You can also hit this button over here and it will pull up your library of music. There's a bunch, Final Cut has some preset sound effects, um, iTunes. Let's look for my J. Elliott music. And I just hit the space bar to hear what it sounds like. So it's all about finding a song that works for you. Let's hear. Okay, let's see what that sounds like on the track. I'm gonna delete that because I don't need me reaching over to hit record. <laughs> and hit the space bar. So the first step you gotta do, ladies, is get your foundation. That's really loud. So I'm gonna add an anchor point here by hitting the Alt button and clicking on the volume and hitting it again over here. And this will allow me to fade it out. And I can even start this lower, start it at minus seven. Now hear what it sounds like. So the first step you're gonna do, ladies, is get your foundation. I'm using cover effects. And you see how the volume goes out? I can even start it before I start talking, right over here, or just before. So the first step you're gonna do, ladies, is get your foundation. I'm using cover and I'm not talking over here, so I can put the volume back up by adding my anchor points and raising. My face. There we are. Now finally, color correction. Here is the show color board. And I think I'm on the warmer side, and that's fine. I could leave it like that. But I can also show you what it looks like to make it cooler. I can go extreme and be all these weird different colors. Here is where you usually want to stay, in the middle range. But for me, let me cool it down. That's actually too cool. Too cool, she too cool. And I can play around with my exposures. I can make my blacks black. I can make them light. I'll just darken it just a wee bit. And then I can make my mid-tones brighter. Again, it's taking the middle range and brightening it up. And these are my highlights. I can also play around with the color saturation. In this case, I, I don't look washed out, but I could make it more punchier with the color. And this is me going extreme Donald Trump Cheetos or staying in <laughs> kind of this zone. I can also just isolate certain areas like the mid-tones to be saturated, the highlights to be saturated, um, or I could just do all of it, an overall global saturation of color. And if I take that out so you can see, you can kind of see, I didn't do much. I don't think I need that much color correction. Actually, now that I look at it, it seems a little green. So 
So now that I have the color that I want in this frame, I need to apply it to this frame. So instead of trying to remember all the settings that I have for the color, for the saturation, that's a lot of time that I do not have. So the way to do that is, this is the color I like, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And I'm gonna title it Makeup. So I've saved that as a preset. This is gonna make my life that much easier because I highlight the clip that doesn't have any color correction. I go under presets. I have a lot in here. Um, but then I look for makeup, which is right here, and it makes the adjustments. Now you can continue to fiddle and tweak with it. Depending on your lighting conditions, these conditions weren't too bad, but say I was filming with fluorescent lights, which usually tends to cast a green shadow, then color correcting would really help out. And to make it the Maya feel, I have this intro card, and I could just drop that in the beginning. So I don't have to edit it every time, and I just hit the space bar. Ooh. Now I gotta move my anchor points. Just click it, hit shift, then click again and drag it and drag it across. And here we are. It actually goes black there. I forgot about that. I can delete that. And then I can add a transition there. Move my music over. So the first step you're gonna do, ladies, is get your foundation. There we go. That's the Maya vibe. And this is the video in all its glory. We went over the color correction. We went over title cards that you can either buy or use that are built in. We went over transitions between clips, like such. We learned about fast forwarding frames. You can even slow them down. And we reviewed photos in video and how to slide them in and out, as well as B-roll footage and adding little pops of animation. And that's how to edit like a beauty guru. You can really go in, it, it all depends on how much time you have, <laughs> really. If you have a lot of time, you can just really go in and ham it up. If you don't have that much time, it's all about prioritizing. So what's more important to you? Sound, cool edits, cool transitions, cool fonts depends on what you have time for. So, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, read the info box as well as the comments and watch my Tech Talk playlist. I have tons of videos that will answer all of your questions. I am sure of it. And if you've watched all of them and you still don't have any answers, let me know in the comments below, okay? To enter a giveaway that I am hosting to get all this free makeup, click the link below. It's through a site called Juniper and they basically keep track of rewards. So if you comment, if you like, if you're subscribed, you can accumulate not only points, but prizes. Comment through Juniper and let me know what your favorite ice cream is. Mine is mint chocolate chip with rainbow sprinkles. Clearly I'm craving, <laughs> okay. Until next time, booze, remember to do you, be you, and stay true. Be shameless, be a tech geek.